No, we have this fella too. Remember this guy? This is a uh, good lord. This is, um, if you don't know, this is Anne Ramsey's stunt double, aka uh, Magra from the Dark Crystal in human form, uh, Steve Bannon, who uh, is, by the way, um, this is not actually Steve Bannon. This is um, um, this. He he uh, basically. This, this is him in existence, and then he, this is just a symbiote that lives off of him. Um, there are no conspiracies, but there are no coincidences. Coincidences, Steve Bannon. So he has his own quote next to Jesus. He's back in front of his mantle, apparently. So this is not the Lindell TV show. This is his RAV show, which is basically the same thing. Um, again, another guy who was convicted and pardoned. But uh, let's see, there's going to be an ad in this. Uh, Liberals are furious that Trump supporters get this Trump wristwatch for free. Yeah, I'm... I'm just, I, I can barely contain my vitriolic hatred. Today in the New York uh -oh. Post, Mike. Um, wait, is he doing a quote of himself? Jesus Christ. How do you do a, a shot of yourself from the past that makes you look older? Mike Allen of Axios. Hey, Jonathan Swan and Mike Allen, notice, I think Joe Biden stone cold lied to your face mainstream media but i think the worst one was the hbo axios mike allen and jonathan swan good guys over there at axios mike allen trying to be the real southern gentleman he is and kind of ask that question but kind of persistent and joe biden just blows him off not one shred of evidence guess that's wrong joe because uh, today in the new york post evidence is coming out and a lot oh that's the the original new york post laptop thing this is from uh yeah this is from 2019 or 2020, rather, like October or whatever, when they started doing going to come out. We're very honored now to have America's mayor, Rudy Giuliani. The mm -hmm. um, why wouldn't you be? This is this is well before he helped concoct a uh, a uh, an illegal, uh, tangentially legalese related, I guess. Uh, predicate to attack democracy in the United States. Individual that helped save New York after the terrorist attack and none. Helped save New York? No, New Yorkers did that. And they were already prepped to do it. Nobody needed any help in that. Rudy Giuliani's the guy who put the terrorism uh, task force or whatever it was called into the World Trade Center. It was on the first floor of the place when it was hit. 9-11, Mayor, thank you very much uh, for joining us. Mayor, I think we've got three things here I want to uh, drill down thank on you, with Steve. you. Uh, n number one is is Joe Biden and just the persistent lies and really the mainstream media's responsibility. Why does that look like Patrick Leahy down in the corner over there? That doesn't, does anybody else, this, right, hold on. Does anybody, like this, that, doesn't that look like Patrick Leahy? on this right the washington post the new york it is okay yeah and uh this is rudy by the way this is before he was in borat too so just in case you need timeline times cnn uh but he has a nice uh you know uh trump butterscotch color going on right now axios all the mainstream media the biden's just lied stonewalled and lied over the last year and and there's been no follow-up and no hammering on him what do you make up good lord what kind of clip was that? The, first of all, the coverage and sort of the, the time. Federal probe into Hunter Biden's business deal. I know of this and so they just where cut the right or the together. left went wrong. Yeah, so I think that there were mistakes on both parts, mm -hmm. right? Um, let's start with the laptop because that's the thing, you know, the laptop, the laptop, yeah. right? All right? So, so Rudy Giuliani takes this information and even Fox News says, this isn't good enough for us. We're not going to go with it. People forget about that. That Rudy Giuliani actually went to Fox News and they said, we can't. We're going to need to see it. Analysis on Biden's laptop found no evidence. Joe Biden was aware of son's business dealings. Um, <laughs> because no one. And by the way, the Washington Post never analyzed the laptop. All of it was fabricated, bounced stuff because they couldn't create emails on other people's accounts that would fabricate the kind of stuff they needed to tie together. So they had to dust up crap and create this hard drive. This. We By the way, um, I don't know if you know this, but um, there's been some articles uh, written lately about how um, Hunter Biden's laptop is a smoke screen of nonsense. You might uh, see this, hold on one second. Let me scratch this down a little bit. There you go. Um, 
the Hunter Biden laptop is a smoke screen of nonsense. Um, hey, guess this is on Daily Kos. Um, who's at the top of this article, uh, uh, by the way? Oh, look. Oh, look. Look who the primary source for people to finally push back against this garbage. The video is almost two hours. After some housekeeping, Sparks reads a line of the Washington Post's analysis and then pauses to let the stupidity of what he just read sink in. I'm going to take a similar approach here. After a quick recap of the laptop myth, I will go through the analysis line by line as far as I can stand it. Then I'll offer my own explanation. This is the, they're breaking down the way they take it. Basically, uh, I, it, it's, my video is the predicate for the pushback against this storyline and Mediaite, any of those sites, um, that, uh, what's his name here? Um, this dude, I'm blitzing on his name. And when he's talking about it, they literally start talking about the laptop as if it's a thing. It ain't. And I'm I'm sick of even pretend, watching people pretend that it is. It's annoying. It geek squads me out. If you don't know about this breakdown, I did a whole breakdown of that. You can go to Daily Codes and click on that, or you can see the video on my YouTube page. I broke down all of it, and I would gladly do it. Yes, Dan Abrams, thank you. Dan, Abrams, everybody. If you know, if you see this video from Midas Ali, um, send it to Dan Abrams. Because even his description is not enough. Everybody keeps pretending this thing is real, and it's not. Stop it. And, and, and why is that? Because it, they were just, he was just giving them essentially um, you know, the emails, a drive, but without any sort of sense of where it came from or mm -hmm. any ability to verify it. Mm -hmm. Then he brings it to the New York Post and they go with it. Okay. Now, it he gave them printouts and then uh, let them look at the drive at his place. They didn't even get to keep a copy. Of Turns it. out that it seems that at least a lot of what was on that laptop is true. No, it isn't. No, it doesn't. That is not true at all. That's not what the article says. 20,000 emails on there that they could verify that they were sent out when they said they were sent out were largely junk mail. I've been through all this. Anybody can watch my other video. This is what aggravates me about this. This, this is how a lie starts rolling. Here's where the problem is from the left-leaning media perspective, which is why didn't they make any effort to try to verify it? In particular, because when you say there's a laptop, show me the laptop. When you, show, when you say there's a hard drive copy of that, I need to know it was a forensic copy or I'm not even going to start down this fucking road. Why would I? That's embarrassing. The moment that Hunter Biden admits that he's under federal investigation. So Which has nothing to do with the existence or non-existence of the laptop. That's a tax thing. It's wholly different. Now we're in December of 2020. It's really just in the last month or so that the mainstream or the left-leaning media have begun to, to say, yeah, well, you know, what was on the laptop, a lot of it really seems to be true. Yeah, and that's a lie. That's not true. That's laziness. They are parroting something from the Washington Post based on a headline, not on the contents of the article. Stop it. The question is, why did it take so long? <sighs> Here's, here's what I, why is it taking so long for people to insist on a forensic copy of something before you even start having a conversation around this garbage when you know the, 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 uh, the presence of a candidate for uh, the, off, the highest office in this country is on the line and, and apparently Russia can drop a hard drive in Rudy Giuliani's lap. I mean, he paid $5 million for it. And we're supposed to just take it? Every expert that looks at it goes, this is garbage. You can't track anything. The only thing you can verify is that Bed Bath & Beyond sent out a coupon on that date. But every other email on here has been so copied and recopied and recopied that there's no way to confirm any of it. When it comes to something as significant, I would argue, as not just the president's son in potential trouble, but the possibility that the president's son at the least, sorry, uh, you know, at the time used the vice president's name, his, the former vice president. He didn't, his buddies did. That's what it said on those emails. And Hunter was like, yeah, I can't do that. And if we're 
we have to abide by fairer rules and all that kind of stuff. Don't make promises you can't keep. Name to do business in China, potentially elsewhere. Those are legitimate questions, I think. That Yes, and I have the answers to all of those things, Dan. Uh, the, the answer is, uh, fuck you. The media didn't. So, so Dan, let me take you back, because you're talking about December, and, and it does make sense. Everybody should. No, it doesn't. I've been far more aggressive after after the investigation. Um, there was none. There is no laptop. You can't investigate it. If you investigate something, you will find that there is no laptop. You know how, how I know that? I read the Washington Post article. The whole thing. Uh, was made public. But what about during the campaign? Yes, during the campaign when this bullshit started in an attempt to recreate the Comey moment. When, when Trump was pressuring Zelensky to try and create this because the laptop at that point didn't exist. And when they couldn't make that happen, they had to concoct this horseshit. If you talk to uh, Republicans, if you talk to conservatives yeah. uh, who are, are critical of how this was handled, they'll... I'm sorry, how what was handled? Talk about the fact that not only did mainstream media not pick it up, but also, you, you had bans from Twitter. You had bans. Because they couldn't verify the existence of it. And guess what? They still can't. I don't know about you, Twitter. Yeah. I don't know. But there were social media bans on this being. I, I guarantee if you had a picture of the laptop and a site that linked to the contents of that hard drive where anybody wanted to search it, there's no fucking way Twitter would have shut it down. 100%. I'm calling it out. Convince me that if there was a photograph of the laptop in the hands of the guy who said he had it, who gave it to the FBI allegedly, and you could go to a searchable database like you can for Parler or any of these other sites and look through the contents of the laptop, if that was available online, there is no way Twitter would have shut it down. The New York Post story was and is bullshit. The Washington Post story was and is bullshit. The New York Times are bullshitting about this. They have one sentence that say appears to be from the Hunter Biden laptop. No, they don't. I'm. Uh, they do not appear to be from anything. I, I. I seriously call Geek Squad. Call. Call up Best Buy and ask them some questions, please. New York Times, Washington Post, New York Post. I beg you. Call anyone. They they got the Washington Post got two experts and both of them are like, yeah, this is ridiculous. We can't confirm any of this shit. The best we can do is the Zillow ads seem to be sent out at the same time because they were peppered throughout. Also, it doesn't bother anybody, and nobody in this is going to bring on this roundtable is going to bring up that three folders on the hard drive that Rudy Giuliani was passing around were created after the the thing was allegedly given to the uh to the fbi nobody yeah this information that was what happened what happened there what, what was it what was the timeline there because you said yeah. fox news at first yeah. wouldn't run with it here's the timeline um there's a, a start of the clock and then the clock stops ticking on the first moment when you can show the laptop or the metadata involved in the files in it because there's no such thing as a real email. Sorry, anything digital can be modified. If you can show that uh, an unmodified version of it, then start there. None of the stuff that's supposedly incriminating, the big guy email, the email that says 10%, any of that shit, none of that is in the verified emails on this. The verified emails are all Zillow ads. Fuck off with this garbage. It's aggravating. This is so, like, I'm, look, as a proud nerd, this irritates me to know. Obviously, the New York Post ran away yeah. early. People were very suspicious. But during the campaign, was there a time when uh, anybody saw the fucking laptop, had the laptop, knows that it actually exists? Social media. Uh, no, it's embarrassing to you, Dan, and to you, Joe, and to you, Mika, and everybody at this table that you assholes are actually talking about this like it's a real thing. I know for a fact that in this roundtable discussion that they had, one of them has a copy of the Washington Post story printed out in front of them. 
also, do you notice how uh, the MSNBC is supposed to be enemy of the people and an untrustworthy source, yada, yada, yada. And Steve Bannon is just flat out playing clips of MSNBC on his site. But this was... Why am I rebutting this shit? Hold on. He's playing this clip. There we go. He said, I am an addict. Okay, I had okay, serious okay. sense I, I won't yeah, we'll get out of the part where he says he's an addict and that part's verifiable. Let's get let's get away from the things that are actually true and and go back to Steve Bannon because all of us need to look at a piece of hu like the human version of uh dick cheese crust with with headphones on. I'm going to show you that now it's all coming together and we're going to have a lot of kind of special uh um, presentations as Yes, special presentation. They're very special. That, that was, the opening was, I think the first day that we brought this up when we could with the New York Post, Post coming public on it. Oh yeah, you mean their bullshit story? Dan Abrams still doesn't understand. So many lies and misrepresentations of how they're still spinning this, okay? Uh, and it was very difficult uh, to validate this. That's why we went to. Why? Why? You know Rudy. You you've been around said hard drive multiple times. If it's why is it difficult? The Washington Post just got a copy of this hard drive recently. It's almost two years we've been doing this bullshit. Why was it hard? Rudy's been on your show dozens of times, claiming he actually has the laptop. Not a hard drive, not a copy. Steve Bannon famously is the guy who keeps screwing it up and calling it the hard drive from hell instead of the laptop from hell because he knows there is no laptop. News organizations that we knew had the capability and the capacity to do this, particularly the New York Post. Which... What capacity? For fuck's sake, man. Look, give me a copy of the hard drive. I'll do the work. Anybody. Anybody want to get me a copy of the goddamn thing? I'll do it live on television. I will plug it in for the first time. On, on, it will do a pay-per-view of the hard drive. We'll go through it. We'll Mike Lindell the shit out of this thing. Mike Lindell did a whole thing about data packets that he said he had during the election. He couldn't do the same thing with the Hunter Biden laptop? Please. Oh, right. It doesn't exist any more than his packets do. It's a, uh, a very smart set of lawyers and also ability to technically understand and the work that they did to validate this. They didn't validate it. They validated that from a forensic standpoint, it's a disaster. That's a direct quote. There was no doubt. The reason I came on the show, we, we hammered it. I think that was from early October. Yes, because you desperately needed a win and you were trying to mangle the election and you didn't have another Comey moment, and the Zelensky blackmail didn't work. So this was your, your, your last shot at it. And guess what? It didn't work either. You know why? Because it was 2020, and you couldn't even drum up a picture of the laptop, a photograph. Again, to anyone who dealt with this, I have a question. For anybody who's dealt with the existence of laptops, Answer me this one question, and then we'll start having a conversation about the contents of it. On the Hunter Biden laptop, the, the laptop repairman said there was a sticker for the Bo Biden Foundation on it. And my question to all those who have validated the laptop, uh, my question to you is, is it a vinyl sticker or a fabric sticker? When you touch it, is it plastic feeling or does it feel like a, a backstage pass? Answer that question for me. Anybody. Anybody. It is 2020. How many pictures of people's lunches do you have? Uh, yeah. Is it a holograph one? Thank you, Alucius. That's another option. Is it a holographic one? anybody good lord uh, all the way through is that we knew we had the receipts Re oh oh you have the oh you have the receipts oh you mean the photo of the, the sorry the printout of the photo of the receipt that no one has 
Giuliani, Bernard Carrick, uh, one of my lawyers, the great Bob Costello, uh, an old school, uh, just a hammer, uh, and other. An old school hammer. Well, um, perhaps uh, he's the wrong tool for the job. Perhaps I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go out on a limb and say a laptop is not a nail. Right. We, we knew what we had. Uh, and we knew that the mainstream media didn't want to talk about it. Hey, hey. Oh, I know what you have, too. Um, you have a, uh, a paper bag full of fart air. Sitting there about, um, you know, the wild story. Everything. Remember, Bill Barr mm -hmm. at the Justice Department mm -hmm. and Chris Ray at the FBI right. had the laptop with everything you're seeing today. They had the laptop in December of 2019. Uh, no, they didn't. No, there's a receipt that it was taken. Now, I would let's 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 put on our our thinking caps about this for a second. One is the FBI doesn't have the laptop, um, and the receipt that says that they received it seems to be bullshit. But on top of that, um, they apparently say they have a laptop and a hard drive that was taken at the place the guy had made a copy but apparently he told them this is the copy of the hard drive i made and yet made yet another copy that he passed around which is against the law he lied to federal agents um and uh you know that's small obviously mike flynn did the same thing and trump pardoned him so we're just going to pretend that isn't a rule so let's say let's put on our big nixon hats in this situation and let's imagine a world where the contents of the hard drive that's being passed around were actually put onto or initially created on a laptop that was made to look like it belonged to Hunter Biden. Total fabrication and they created the thing. But anybody who got a good long look at it would know it was fake. But you needed this trail of evidence that it existed in the first place to validate the contents of this hard drive. So what you do is, um, and this is just, you know, for, for the sake of everybody watching, um, I would like to uh, make you recognize that this is a, uh, um, a story. Um, just to, you know, a, a think of it as a thought exercise. So um, somebody turns over that laptop, the fabricated fake one, and knowing full well that if anybody got a good look at it, they would know it was fake. But they need it, they, they need the chain of evidence to exist so that they can uh, pitch the hard drive that's around, which is the real thing, um, as as the evidence, right? You don't need, you know, the, they have the original, this is a copy, and that you need the original to artificially exist, or you won't have, or the copy won't be worth dick, right? So, you create a situation where the, the hard drive itself, um, or the laptop itself, sorry, uh, existed at one point, physically, even though it was fake, and then you just disappear it. You turn it over to the FBI, and then somebody in the White House uh, calls somebody in the CIA <laughs> who uh, does anything the president asks and just goes in there and takes the thing. Just walks out with it, throws it in the Potomac, end of story. Now, I know what you're thinking. No, there is no way Trump, being a man of honor, would allow anything like that to happen but again it always seems weird to me that like how vladimir putin knows exactly where the nazis are in ukraine trump knows exactly where the voter fraud is because they both put it there all right it was the one-armed man <laughs> so anyways but let's just run on that uh predicate as believable as anything else they've thrown up. I'm just saying. It's a fun story. Of 2019. Um, yes, apparently everybody was working against was working against Trump, especially the people he put in charge. So apparently Trump could only find people that were working for Biden secretly to put in office. Huh? But hashtag the best people. Okay. When the store owner went to them, it was because he he went to them he, he went to bill barr and chris ray they stonewalled he didn't feel there was an investigation going on and he well uh, apparently uh whatever he gave them was garbage
And they went, yeah, thanks. Thanks for the garbage. Bye. He thought this thing was had to become before the American people. Yes, and he lied to FBI agents and apparently disseminated a copy of something that had uh, uh, allegedly nude pictures of uh, underage girls on it, which means he was disseminating child porn and lying to federal agents about it. Good luck. Have fun. Enjoy your afternoon. Because he was the guy that Hunter dropped a, dropped the dropped the laptop off with a number of laptops. Yeah, like all laptops all the time. The other ones don't exist. We don't know what happened to those. He dropped laptops off there all the time. This was the only one that had crime stuff on it. The other two he went through, what? To, to, be, uh, to be worked on. Yeah, to be worked on. And by worked on, he means uh, siphoned onto a secondary hard drive, um, fake files and deep fakes added to it and then disseminated to overthrow the, uh, the country. What? And then never came back, which became his property. Yeah, it became his property. Never came back. Mm hmm. Never, never, never came back. Never. I guess uh, finders keepers is the 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 it, the root of the greatest political scandal in American history is finders keepers, losers weepers. So it was a you know he didn't see it. that's why he reached out to America's mayor Rudy Giuliani new C yeah that's why he reached out to America's mayor Rudy Giuliani. It wasn't because Rudy went to Ukraine uh, where Russian sock puppets were selling a hard drive of, of stolen emails and fake emails mixed together into a big soup of, of compromise that they were attempting to undermine the uh, Biden candidacy with in January of 2020. Um, it wasn't... <laughs> it wasn't because of that. Um, it, was, <laughs> it was because um, he just felt like he's America's mayor. Rudy on TV and knowing Rudy, obviously in the, in the greater New York area as being America's hero, one of the yes, that's I mean in the greater New York area, you just look in the yellow pages under America's hero. That's and and you go who who among us will be smart enough to understand the contents the contents of a, a of a technological device as sophisticated as a Mac laptop. And Rudy Giuliani, that's who. Heroes, he reached out to Rudy. That's how I got it. I got brought in very specifically at first mm -hmm. because of my expertise uh -huh. in going after the Chinese Communist Party. Sure, absolutely. Um, and obviously, parts of uh, laptops are assembled in China. So Steve Bannon would be, um, the, I mean, who else are you going to go to? Huh? I mean, honestly. Remember, I am... Uh, it, it, why, also, the fuck? I th this guy works at a laptop repair place. He doesn't know how to authenticate the contents of a laptop? Of all people? Or, perhaps, because he works in this place, um, he recognizes that you can't. Because the chain of evidence has been completely fucked. I'm sanctioned by the Chinese Communist Party. Uh huh. Because because you get money from a uh, Chinese millionaire. So as the Washington Post uh, writer Josh Rogan uh, put in his book, I'm the head of the Superhawks, the the group inside the uh, the the Trump administration and in the Trump 16 campaign. And yes, when I see him, I think Superhawk. I don't I don't think this is the the worst turn Charlotte's Web ever took. Obviously, afterwards, that believes that. The Chinese Communist Party is not a legitimate government. It's a transnational criminal organization. It must be destroyed root and branch. <clears throat> it's the tough talk like that that I tune in for. Okay. And I okay. And the only person who can go after the Chinese Communist Party root and branch is a dude who podcasts in front of a mantle in his second dining room in his million dollar uh townhouse in D.C. Could very quickly ascertain. In fact, I was shocked and stunned given my expertise in this. Expertise. Of how deep the compromise went, how deep the corruption went, how... Yes, yeah, so deep you couldn't even find it. It was that deep. You know what I mean? And You need to dig even deeper because you're never gonna... It's, it's so deep 
it it turns out Trump was compromised. It went out the other side. The money, it was it was amazing. And also <laughs> root and toot and truth. Yes. What they call being honey potted. Remember I used to say here what they call being honey potted. Is that a is that a Winnie the Pooh reference? That's just rude. We could play it uh, Tommy. I say you come for the porn and you stay for the uh, compromise. Sure, that's that's what I say. <laughs> you do what now? I'm sorry. Um what what's the what's that old chestnut? The branch. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh -huh. I could very quickly ascertain. In fact, I was shocked and stunned, given my expertise in this, of how deep the compromise went, how mm -hmm. deep the corruption went, how the money, it was it was amazing. And also what they call being honeypotted. Remember, I used to say here, and we could play it at the time, I'd say you come for the porn and you stay for the uh, compromise. Yeah, yeah, that's the, uh, that's, the, he would say that all the time. And I don't know why people didn't take it more seriously, other than the fact that it is uh, gibberish. And, and, and by the way, did anybody else spot the problem with this? Because in this, in this issue, it would be the compromod itself would be the pornographic images or the allegedly pornographic images of Hunter Biden and what he was engaged in, not the contrived pornography that is supposed to make people look. And then, so the salacious images were supposed to draw the media's attention. So you go, oh my God, crack smoking and prostitutes. The rest of it must be real, right? This was. He, what he's admitting to right now is the sales pitch for this bullshit hard drive. Again, Bannon can't help but flex. And so he can't... He can't not screw up the whole plan by basically admitting to the strategy in the open. It's why he keeps saying hard drive from hell instead of laptop from hell. It's why he says come for the poor and stay for the compromise that that's because that's how they concocted the scheme in the first place the the depravity of hunter biden's lifestyle and, and i think tucker mentioned part of it last night on the show but we were talking about this in october 2020 the depravity of the of of hunter biden's lifestyle right is it is easy to grab the attention of the public by the way, the depravity uh, is that he was an addict and he had issues and all that kind of stuff, which he's come to terms with and gotten out of and is trying to better his life. But yeah, is uh, is 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 mind boggling. You can't. I mean, it's it's it, you got to see it. You can't describe it. Well, no, you don't have to see it. You can describe it. Why? Why do I give a shit? I'm dead serious. My, I don't need to see the shit about Mike Lindell. You, you guys aren't you guys aren't showing uh, when did Mike pillow come on and show pictures from when he smoked crack was did he have pictures of himself smoking crack in his book Steve did he when he came on did you ever talk to Mike pillow and say Mike I know we've all we've heard stories about how you used to do drugs and you were engaged in all kinds of awful do you have any pictures of it because we really can't hear about it we need to see it it's that bad yeah, it's that bad. And remember, this is the Chinese Communist Party. This is why the Chinese Communist Party has no respect for the Biden administration. The reason they dismissed Blinken and then they... The Biden registration. The Biden registration? I'm not familiar with the Biden registration. The depravity of, the, of, of Hunter Biden's lifestyle uh -huh. is, uh, is, 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 is mind-boggling. You can't... I mean, it's, it's, it, you've got to see it. You can't describe it. It's that bad. I'm, by the way, I can describe it. And remember, this is the Chinese Communist Party. This is why the Chinese Communist Party has no respect for the Biden registration. The reason they dismissed... Yeah, for the Biden registration. Um, apparently, the Biden registration is... Uh, they just have no respect for it at all. Blinking it, and they, and they scream at it, and they scream at Jake Sullivan. Yeah, it didn't work. Didn't help. Right? She... Right, who gives a shit? They were trying Wolf Warrior. It failed. He read the he read riot act to, to Biden on that phone call. The, the Financial Times of London picked it up. They said uh -huh. she, you know, she tells Biden what's going to happen. The White House took three and a half hours to put out the uh, the read, the readout to say, oh, no, no, no. Biden was warning she about what he would do. That's not true. And one of the reasons they know how compromised they are. Um, then why is none of it working? How did we put the AUKUS together? Why is Japan joining the AUKUS agreement? Why do we have troops in Taiwan still? 
what what part of this where is the american economy or the government on the hook at all right now i'm dead serious if there is compromise you would see the results of it china's on the we are reshoring at the biggest clip in american history and it includes um taiwanese chip manufacturers biden literally came out and said uh, like they had to walk it back but he basically uh, openly stated we would defend taiwan if china attacked and everybody's like well i mean blah, blah, blah. and he was like nah he basically said what was true the same thing he did with ukraine when he said putin can't stay in power they know absolutely how compromised they are and remember biden was in charge of basically the pivot to asia was put in, Biden was put in charge of that. That's why he went to China so much. That's why Hunter Biden was over there. My point. And it didn't work. Nothing happened. Again, if if you're going to allege compromise, if you're going to allege that the administration or anybody involved in it is being manipulated, you have to show the quo in the quid pro quo. There has been none. There isn't any. There isn't even any, any scheduled. The exact opposite is happening. Wait. Why, why do we go into this now? Yes, why? Because you have to, because you can't show that the Biden administration is being deferential to Xi Jinping or the Chinese Communist Party or the or Chinese industry at all. What they do? Did he roll in and say, you know what, we take it back. Huawei can operate in the United States. Did we do that? No. What? Did, did we say uh, Chinese companies can build train lines in the United States? No, we didn't. Where is it? We're, we're almost two years in. Where is it? You can see all kind of spinning and all kind of lies and all kind of misrepresentation. Yeah, that's what your show is. That's that's all of this, Steve. That's what this is. This is lies and spinning and misrepresentation. And they even said they just sent a bunch of emails. No, sir, we actually had the thing itself. No, you didn't. No, you don't. Show me a picture of it. If you're going to say you have it. We had the thing itself. No, you don't. The Washington Post. And yeah, and they still haven't been able to. The, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the things. You know how hard it is not to say laptop because he knows it doesn't exist. And then when he says hard drive, it like it makes people recognize what f flaming bullshit this is 2021 it oh there's no sound on the video what happened hold on took them six eight nine months hmm clicky pop weird oh it's back okay to verify it took them that long to verify first they didn't want to make sure they didn't want to verify it but it they didn't want to make sure they didn't want to verify it well said it took them that long because of that technical why is this important it's yes. Why is this important? Important to set the stage for Ukraine. You see John Solomon's breaking all kind of news off it about exactly what's going on and what's happening and who the players are, where the money is, and where the relationships are. By the way, we are almost 10 minutes into this and not, you know, uh, MSNBC clip notwithstanding, nothing has been said. Think about it nothing has been said okay it's very very important to understand this oh the video the uh, video audio is cracking after each play i beg your pardon um hopefully it's a little better number two this is going to be on the bill of indictment for his impeachment joe biden and and, and oh, oh the, the republican the, 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 please don't talk about this please don't say this you can't say this because then the democrats are going to get worked up. i don't give a damn about the democrats getting worked up we're going to destroy the Democratic Party root and branch. Root and branch. Along with everything root and branch. Tip of the spear. Armor piercing shell. Other military f phrases. Root and branch. No, you're not. You're absolutely not. You're in the process of undermining the existence of the Republican Party. Nobody gives a shit. Because we're going to do our jobs. Just like we did our jobs when we stood in the breach here on January 20th and said everybody quit wetting them. Uh, uh, on January 20th? I'm sorry, what date was that? And you stood in the breach on what? January 20th and said, everybody quit wetting themselves. January 20th. Is that the 20th? January 20th? You stood in the breach 
good lord, what the fuck? To destroy the Democratic Party root and branch. Right. Because we're going to do our jobs. Just like uh -huh. we did our jobs when we stood in the breach here on January 20th and said, everybody quit wetting themselves. It's going to be fine if you get focused. Yes. We stood in the breach on January 20th and said, everybody stop wetting themselves. It's going to be fine if you... Good fucking hell. And talk about his illegitimacy and focus on everything else. We're going to turn this around, of which we did. Just like back... No, you didn't. In September and October of 2020, or in August of 2020, we're working on... Whenever. Hard drive from hell, because we understood... Oh, and there you have it. Ladies and gentlemen, I told you, Steve Bannon's ego will not allow him to play into the bullshit part of it. He's selling this. And he just did it again. He's supposed to say laptop from hell. That's the phrase they all agreed on. But there is no laptop. There's a hard drive that Rudy bought in Ukraine for $5 million that they were selling for three. That was There were stories about it, about you, Russians in Ukraine trying to sell this stuff to Rudy when he was over there a bunch, trying to do security for the Russians, by the way, in Ukraine to undermine the government there, to get them back on a Yanukovych path. But check this out. Focus and talk about his illegitimacy and focus on everything else. We're going to turn this around, of which we did. Just like back in September and October of 2020, or in August of 2020, we're working on the hard drive from hell because we... We're working on the hard drive from hell. And there you have it. You're welcome. I, I, for... Like, how, how hard is it to keep your story together? How hard is it to just stick to one lie? understood and we could very quickly ascertain that this was real so we don't spend our time chasing rabbits we go after the main event and here's the main event the main event would be the physical laptop uh um visual evidence that it exists in a forensic copy of its direct hard drive not a 30 copy deep bullshit copy of a copy of a copy of a copy of an erased copy of a copy with other files added to it after the time it was allegedly turned over to the FBI. Piss off with this nonsense. He's getting impeached. No, he's not. I'm not saying he's going to be removed from office because <laughs> we don't have the votes in the Senate now, but he's... No, uh, you don't have the votes in the House to actually impeach him. Getting impeached. And there are going to be three counts in that impeachment. Very exciting. Here they are. Number one, uh, the, the, he snuck into the FBI and ate the laptop with some fava beans and a nice Keanu. The first account will be initiating exacerbating an invasion of the United States on the southern border. Igni initiating and exacerbating an invasion of the United States on the southern border. What? None of which he did. What are you talking about? Does he, does he just mean Mexicans? Is that what the fear is? Oh, I see. So, you know how um, every time they concoct some sort of uh, criminal endeavor that Biden is supposedly involved in, and then the deeper you look at it, it looks like something they did. Um, basically, what Steve Bannon is admitting to here, in the same way that he admitted that there was, uh, you know, they were involved in, in concocting, working on the laptop, um, uh, you know, or working on the hard drive from hell. Um, it was long thought that um, someone um, was apparently putting ads in South American newspapers and on television down there that you can get into the United States on an asylum thing if you just follow these kind of, um, you know, like simple, ch this simple checklist. And that if you get involved in one of these caravans and you go up, if you're part of the caravans, they gotta let you in. And so all these caravans, like, they're coming, were actually concocted by right-wingers in an attempt to try to shut down the border. Like, overwhelm it, turn it into a, a you know, a, a, a crisis, and then answer the crisis with draconian policies. Which is what Steve Bannon and Trump and all those guys were backing and talking about. And so there's a belief that the right-wingers were involved in 
in concocting these caravans in the first place so that as a predicate for building the wall and all that kind of shit. And so that's what he's admitting to here because what they're going to accuse Biden of is what they did themselves. A high crime and misdemeanor. No, it is neither. Like, this is just silly. That's not even a charge. That's that. That's so dumb, Marjorie Taylor Greene would have a hard time pronouncing it. We can go back and we get, oh, they should save all the receipts. Yes, yeah, save the receipts. It's good. I'm sorry. I, I just feel let down by the save the receipts part when he's talking about tip of the spear and armor piercing shell and all these macho terms. And then it's like, they, they, they need to clip all the, we're going to clip Biden's coupons. You mark my words, it won't be pretty. Because we're going to go through chapter by chapter of what they have done to initiate. Chapter one, food receipts. And exacerbate a, a, an invasion uh, by illegal aliens of our beloved country. <laughs> of our beloved country. By illegal aliens. Oh, God. Ch yes, okay, charge number, <laughs> charge number one. That's, a, okay. Does our beloved country have to be in the actual um, phrasing of the charge? Probably. Just leave it in. Just put it in there anyway. No, this is not racist because now it's people from the Ukraine. They're also going to invade. I see. Okay, it's not racist. It's because the Ukrainians are coming and we all know that they're Nazis apparently. And they'll be mixed in. Nazis mixed in with Mexicans staging our... What? <laughs> what? What the fuck is this? <laughs> uh, look how mad he is. What a fucking waste okay. of time. Uh -huh. On the southern Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's you're not being racist about illegal aliens crossing the southern border because some of them might be Ukrainian now. <laughs> what? Border you got thousands of them down there right now. This Dear God. Yes, out of uh Four million people who have yet left Ukraine, like uh, uh, 600 people have shown up at the southern border. What? This is because of the Biden administration. Yes, the Biden administration. This is all predicated on, they, they created this whole crisis at the border early last year so that 400 Ukrainians who probably would get asylum if they just came to the airport um, couldn't get a flight there, so ended up flying to Mexico and trying to walk in or showing up at the border and going, hi, we're Ukrainians. We'd like asylum, please. Um, and not they're not being found in the goddamn desert. Ugh. Anyways. Article 2 is going to be everything related to Hunter Biden's laptop. Great. Show me the laptop and we'll get right on that. We're going to get right on that. Don't worry about it. All I need is the laptop and, and the everything related to it. Everything. So, um, so... Rudy Giuliani flying to Ukraine and buying a hard drive from these guys. That'll be part of it. Um, the New York Post's reporters will have to come in and testify that they've never actually seen the laptop. Washington Post reporters will have to come in that not only have they never seen the laptop, but the copy of the hard drive they got was 30 copies deep. And their own text said, and I quote, from a forensic standpoint, it's a disaster. They'll testify to that. Okay, so that's charge number two. Uh, corruption there of the entire, as Rudy calls it, the Biden crime family. Yes, the crime, the Biden crime family, run by someone who can't finish a sentence and, and and naps all day. It's a criminal napping, though. It's a vicious criminal napping that he involves. Is 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 breathtaking. It's breathtaking. It it'll t take my breath away. <laughs> It's breathtaking in a scale. And he's going... And it, it's breathtaking in a scale. Uh, if you listen to his words, what we're supposed to hear, do is all of us are supposed to go, <gasps> when we hear about the uh, laptop. <gasps> we're supposed to... <gasps> and tell you what, I absolutely will. When it shows up and someone goes, we found it, here it is. I'll go, <gasps> get ready to laugh. You get impeached with this. All of this stuff you're hearing, people running around, they're going to be hearings. You know, little Jamie Raskin and... Mm -hmm. Little Jamie Raskin. Uh, and Shifty Shift. And, sh and Shifty Shift. Sh it would, that would be Shifty Shift, by the way. Uh, Shifty Shift is a rapper um, who um, was fired from Digital Underground early on. Amy have promised us primetime hearings on January 6th. Primetime hearings. 
primetime, showtime, bigger than Watergate. Going to mesmerize the nation. Yeah, by the way, uh, there's video of January 6th. There's lots of photos, too, of the people involved. Everybody involved. In, not only did the people, are there's like security footage, but there's also pictures from the people who engaged in it going, we're breaking into the Capitol. I'm, I just beat the shit out of a cop. Like, <laughs> there's plenty of it. Tell you what, you find me one ten thousandth of the pictures of the laptop. We'll talk. Supposed to be in March. Well, I already we're rolling up on Easter, and now I'm here. It's going to be late May. Where are our prime time hearings that are going to keep us mesmerized? Because I'm going to give you a prime time hearing. Uh huh. When we go through the Hunter Biden hard drive and not. Oh. I'm sorry. The the Hunter Biden what? It, when you go through the Hunter Biden prime what? time hearings, are going to keep mm -hmm. us mesmerized. Because I'm going to give you a prime time hearing. When we go through the Hunter Biden hard drive and oh, the hard the Hunter Biden, it's the Hunter Biden hard drive. Ouch! Can can somebody like, I don't know, on his team? What do you do? What do Republicans do when they want to keep people on message? Is it a is it like a one of those shock collars you put on a dog so they don't get you know like a digital leash? Can you put something on his leg that every time he says hard drive, it, a bell rings in his ear and it gets a little jolt up his leg? Fucking hell, man! Keep your story straight. Yes, the laptop hard drive raid storage USB two. Absolutely. <laughs> this is so stupid. For I mean, honestly, this is exactly why the story is garbage. This is precisely why the story is garbage and why it never went anywhere. The reason it never resulted, even in the bullshit world of, of fake news stories, which absolutely, just like the, I mean, the Comey story never turned out to be a, 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 anything. The, the Hillary Clinton email server stuff turned out, you know, months later, ye, over a year and a half later, turned out to be bullshit didn't amount to anything but the 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 story about it was enough to to drive down voting for her and and give trump an electoral college win even though it was bullshit it turned out to be a functional lie this is why this isn't a functional lie because even the people involved in it can't figure out how to describe it because they have to weasel around the lie to protect themselves they can't, I mean, he literally can't say laptop because he knows it doesn't exist. Physically, it doesn't exist. The FBI doesn't have it. It doesn't physically exist. And if there was ever one, it the contents of its hard drive do not match the hard drive they've been passing around. That's the problem. And they know this. And so every time he starts to lie about it, he knows there's a trail on this because it's not photographs. It was enough to bust Gary Hart that there was a photograph of a woman sitting on her, his lap on a boat. And that was, yeah, that was enough. Once it got in the newspaper, that photograph would sell it. But there is no photograph like that of Joe Biden. And the fact that there are photographs of, of Hunter in compromising positions is nobody's goddamn business and nobody cares. It's, it's not compromised anymore once the world sees it. Once you let that stuff out, there is no leverage with Biden anymore. We're going to show these pictures to the world if you don't do what we say. I give a fuck. Show them. Because you could argue that that's how some of this stuff got to market. That the pictures of Hunter Biden in compromising positions that have been predicated, you know, they're spread all over the place, literally came out because they tried to blackmail Biden into behaving a certain way and it didn't work. So they thought, oh, we'll just capsize it. We'll capsize his candidacy by releasing them. And that didn't work. So hence the hard drive. Not yammering on with Dan, a Dan Abrams got some show on some new, new network. It's got 4,000 people watching. Nobody cares. Yeah, I have more than that. Right, the great Dan Abrams and Morning Joe, but now they're they're all in panic mode because they understand what this means. This thing. Um, yeah, no, they. By the way, I think it's kind of ironic that if you look right here, it says uh, four thousand views. <laughs> Steve Bannon wants you to know that having four thousand views apparently ain't shit. <laughs> that's, that's kind of wonderfully ironic. 
I mean, 4,781. I guess that's the thing. Once you once you clear 4,000, then you're something real. But Dan Abrams' show has 4,000 people watching, and uh, that's, that's ridiculous. <laughs> that's fun. Okay. Is nitroglycerin, right? We're going to have hearings on this. Yeah, great. Good luck. And you're going to see the corruption. And not, not only that, you're going to see what the social media oligarchs and media did. The war room uh, pandemic Twitter feed was taken down because the great Jack, the great and crazy Jack Maxey, who's obsessed with Jack Maxey? with this and knows it better than anybody, was carpet bombing on our Twitter feed. Every oh, that Maxey's the guy who gave the hard drive to the Washington Post. He's the he's the guy who was lying about its contents, who gave out this bullshit hard drive repeatedly. Again, this is the guy who proves my point from that Washington Post article. Maxie is the guy who gave the Post a copy of the hard drive. That is, and I quote, from a forensic standpoint, a disaster. I'm sorry, but I am not going to allow myself to be dissuaded in my electoral choices by quote unquote a disaster day he'd come on the show he'd have five more things and he'd put 20 of them up that's why twitter took it down everybody knows that because it was unverifiable digital not noise and bullshit all he had to do was post the entire contents of the hard drive online for people to look through on their own and he wouldn't do it Rudy wouldn't do it, Maxi wouldn't do it, Bannon wouldn't do it, they still won't, and you gotta wonder why. They took it down because he's putting up the evidence. He was putting No, he wasn't. He was putting up uh, fakes. He was putting up deep fakes. He was putting up um, photos of copies of files of whatever. Why? Why? Why would you not just post the entire contents of the hard drive? I have been asking for this from day one, put it all online. Let anybody who wants to look at it, look at the digital contents of the hard drive. WikiLeaks the shit out of it. Go through and, and try to, you know, digitally block out some stuff. Like these guys think, if they think that Biden is part of a giant crime family that stole the presidency of the United States, why would they give a rat fuck about putting all the contents of that hard drive online? Think about how serious the accusation is. Think about how serious the crime is. Think about how serious the depth of this is. And they won't post the contents of that hard drive. Why? Why? The receipts. Many of the things. There's no receipts. There were no receipts. There's no such thing as a receipt of an email that you show a physical picture of digitally copied on something else piss off and he's weaponizing today <laughs> what's he weaponizing there's no weapon it's a squirt gun uh full of mayonnaise i don't care if these guys don't think we don't know everything about this hard drive these guys don't think we don't know what seats many of the things that he's weaponizing today many of the things he's weaponizing today that's very telling too this asshole can't not tell you the truth by accident and if these guys don't think we don't know everything about this hard drive don't think we don't know do think you don't know don't think you do know we'll figure it out every small component of it you yeah you don't you you don't and if you do know every small component about it Put the fucking thing online. I ain't seen nothing yet. There's more than, there's more. You're right. I ain't seen nothing yet. I have not, so far, I've seen nothing. Come on all this. And it's all coming out. No, it isn't. It's not. It's not coming out. Keep trying, but it's not gonna happen. And he's gonna be impeached. No, he isn't. And so this is the part we destroy the Democratic Party at the school board level and at the school board level. Yeah, that's what we're going to use the Hunter Biden hard drive from heck uh, to attack the Democratic Party at school boards. What? The county official level. The county official level. Oh, you mean uh, uh, voter interference so that people can't vote. And at the. 
at the county supervisor level, dog catcher. We're going after traffic controllers. We're going through a uh, comp troller, insurance adjuster. Um, we're going level and at the state legislature level and for secretaries of state and the source DAs and in the House, we win a hundred seat majority in the Senate. We're going to take it over because you don't see anybody defending the pedophilia uh, 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 protection plan of Judge Jackson. You don't see anybody because there isn't one. Okay, this is just gross. Sideline. By the way, this is uh, uh, if um, if you were Steve Bannon and you didn't have a giant cancerous monster living on your temple telling you how to believe, you know, speak. This is what you would call uh, um, noise, not signal. Okay, we'll do that. And then wait for it. We're gonna come for the executive branch right after. Bra! Right after we're done with school boards, comptrollers state legislators the house then we're gonna all right on merrick garland and all of them it's gonna be a star chamber every day <laughs> yes um there will be a star chamber every day for those of you that don't know uh, star chamber is actually uh, i think it was part of logan's run <laughs> and we're gonna lead with we're gonna lead with the impeachment of joe biden and i don't care if the you're gonna lead with that all right Please do. And that's based on he orchestrated an attack of Mexicans and Ukrainians on our southern border and the everything to do with the laptop slash hard drive. Or is it a hard drive or is it a laptop? My hard drive, my laptop, my laptop, my hard drive. Republican establishment, don't, 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 please don't say that. Please don't say that. No, we're going to impeach Joe Biden. We're going to be foot before the world. The we'll be foot, foot before the world. Guys, understand? He's going to be foot before the world evidence of how he initiated and exacerbated an invasion of our beloved country on southern yes and initiated and exacerbated he initiated it with mexicans and he exacerbated it with ukrainians of our beloved country which will be all full of ukrainian mexicans because they're all going to have biracial families of ukrainians and mexicans and they're they're all going to come over here and take our jobs because they're going to be the hardest working warriors in the world <laughs> and how are we supposed to compete with that if you're Steve Bannon border number two, the what? corruption and compromise of the Chinese Communist Party and others of the Biden crime family. And number three, just wait for it. Tony Fauci in that cast of criminals. Of oh, the third count. They're going to impeach Joe Biden because of what Tony Fauci did. Which, by the way, was his A job and B all started during the Trump administration. Are we going to retroactively impeach Trump for this as well? Under what? Tony Fauci. All three of it, okay? All three of it. Okay. Okay. That's just for starters. Yeah, well, good. And that's for, just for starters. We're gonna, we're gonna jam it down their throats. Ew. <laughs> All their corruption. All their corruption, all their, all all their things, the stuff, and the all their crack, all their Fauci, all their, uh, I don't know. What. All their evil. Ah. Why would you have to stuff their evil down their throats if they're evil? Isn't it already there? Oh, never mind. They've tried to do this nation. That's the edit. That's the end of it. Yep. 1442, 1442, that's the end of it. That's just, it ends with Steve Bannon staring into you, your face with his gray, bloodshot, spotty, full of floaters, eyeballs. Is that? Yeah, that's it. That's the whole thing. 526 rumbles out of 4,781 views. Only, uh, only Dan Abrams has numbers apparently <laughs> worse than that. Um, by the way, you're watching uh, Hal Sparks Mega Worldwide. Um, I'm on uh, semi-vacation, uh, semi meaning I'm, it's, a, it's a working vacation, um, here in uh, Laguna Beach, um, which is named after a portion of the moon, um, which is uh, a place where in the lunar cycle, a goon shows up. Uh, in the moon's surface, and you can see it there, and the coastline is shaped exactly like that goon, so they called it Laguna. That's true. That's a true story.
as true as anything you heard on Steve Bannon's site.